In this series of videos, we've been talking about relevant costs for decision making, and now we're going to work through five problems, and the problems are all linked below this video. So if you click the link at the bottom, there's a Dropbox link. You can have the problems. You can work on them on your own. Um, but let's go through them. The first type of decision, and these decisions, they're, they're common in accounting uh, textbooks, and so they even have titles. Like this is a uh, replace old equipment decision. So keep or replace is the way I would describe this. And you might even see it called that in the textbook. Keep or replace. And so the, the decision we're going to be making here is whether we keep an old piece of equipment or replace it with a new one. And we're going to analyze the relevant costs of, of doing both of those things. So let's read through the question. David Smith Oh, drives and owns his own taxi cab. It's interesting, the taxi industry. A lot of the people own their own cabs. Sometimes the company owns the cabs. But it's, it's a complex industry. Anyway, this guy owns and drives his own. He's considering replacing his old cab with a new, more efficient hybrid model. So you can understand. I, I see more hybrid cabs than, than no, uh, I used to, certainly. Uh, and you can understand why, right? These cars are on the road all day. And, you know, if you can get some gas savings, some cost savings, you might want to replace an older gas model with a hybrid or an electric car. I could see that making some sense. Uh, here's some uh, information related to his decision. The old cab cost him 25 grand when he bought it. The new cab is going to cost 30. Not surprising, hybrids are a little more expensive. The old cab is depreciated 5 grand so far, the accounting depreciation, and the salvage value of the old cab is 10 grand. So if you were to try to sell it today, he'd get about $10,000 for it. The annual operating cost is $20,000 for the old cab and only fifteen dollars for the new cab, and that makes sense too, right? You wouldn't even think about it if it wasn't going to be a little cheaper to buy the new cab. He expects both his old cab and the new hybrid cab would be useful for six years from now. So the old cab, he thinks he can let it live for six more years. If he buys a new hybrid cab, he thinks he's only going to get six years out of it as well. Uh, that's a nice little trick I use in my accounting question to make it easier for us. Uh, determine the advantage or disadvantage of purchasing the new hybrid cab. Well, first we've got to determine what costs are relevant and what costs aren't. So original cost new. The original cost of the new cab, absolutely relevant, right? I'll circle all my relevant costs. Why is the original cost of the new cab uh, relevant? Well, if the, car, the new cab cost us $2,000, I think we do it. If the new cab costs us one million dollars I think we don't right like it's it's pretty obvious that a difference in this cost whether it was 30 or 35 or 20 it, it would change might change our decision so it's absolutely relevant it's a cost actually I shouldn't do it that way what are our two criteria is it sunk no I haven't bought the new cab yet is it different between the alternatives well let's think about the alternative the option is buy a new cab or don't so if I buy it it cost me 30 grand if I don't buy it it cost me zero so it is different between the alternatives, right? Again, I want you to think about the options here, the alternatives. Buy a new cab, don't buy a new cab. That's really the two options. So uh, I buy a new cab, it costs me 30. I don't, it uh, costs me zero. So it is different. Uh, the original cost new of the old cab, is that relevant? I paid 25 grand for it, but I paid that 25 grand a while ago. The fact that I paid 25 grand sometime in the past makes this a sunk cost. We said the two criteria again, one, not sunk, that's criteria one, and criteria number two, different between the alternatives. So again, those are the two criteria I'm going to be looking for. The accumulated depreciation so far, well, the accumulated depreciation again has happened in the past, and it's accounting depreciation. So it's it's already happened. It's not relevant to our future decision here. It's a sunk cost. It's a sunk expense, I suppose. Salvage value of the old cab, absolutely relevant. If I was going to get thirty thousand for the old cab, or I was going to get one thousand, that would make a difference to my opinion. Uh, my opinion about what to do. Uh, it's certainly not sunk because I haven't salvaged it yet, so it's not sunk. It is different between the alternatives. If I if I buy the new cab, I'm going to sell the old one, and I'm going to get ten grand out of it. If I don't buy the new cab, I'm not going to sell the old one. I'm not going to get ten grand out of it. So this is absolutely relevant to my decision. The annual operating cost, twenty grand versus fifteen grand. It is different between the alternatives, so it's differential. Is it sunk though? 
Well, I haven't incurred the annual operating cost on the new hybrid yet, and the annual operating cost for the next six years I haven't incurred on the old cab yet. So it is different. It is not sunk. It's relevant. So we've got all of our relevant information. Now we just got to use it. We got to make a decision for this company. And there's a couple of ways I can lay out my answer here. Um, let me do it, I, I think, the simpler way, and then I'll do it the quick way. So I, I like to lay out all the information I can, but there's, there's kind of two different ways you might approach this answer. Um, so the first way is I do two little income statements or cost statements. You know, we're thinking about keeping versus replacing, right? So if I keep, what happens? Well, I don't sell it. Nothing kind of happens as far as salvage goes, but I got to operate it for six years. So my operating cost is uh, six years at twenty thousand dollars. It's a hundred and twenty thousand uh, dollars, and that's really it because I'm not going to replace it. There's no other cost, so the cost of keeping is a hundred and twenty. The cost to replace it is well. Let's see. It's the annual operating cost is fifteen grand times six years. It's ninety thousand dollars, but I've got to pay more than that. If I replace, because I got to buy a new cab, and the new cab's going to cost me thirty thousand. Uh, but if I buy the new cab, I can sell my old one, and there's salvage value of ten thousand. So that kind of mitigates the cost. If you think about it, the new cab, really only cost me twenty. I'm going to It'll cost me the 30 that I pay for, but it's also I'm going to get a trade of $10,000 on my old cab. So it's really going to be, I'm going to go out of pocket 20. So salvage of old cab. And I save uh, $10,000 here. So I'm going to make that reduce the cost. So my total cost, my total relevant cost here to keep is 120. To replace is 110. I think my answer is clear. I should replace. The net savings of replacing is $10,000. So determine the advantage or disadvantage of purchasing a new hybrid cab. Well, if I purchase the new cab, it's I'm $10,000 better off than if I keep the old one. Now, one other way to lay this answer out, and it's just a layout thing, is to sort of lay it all out in a row here. And what I would say is annual cost, not annual cost savings, but cost savings of new cab and whatever the asset is, because that's the only reason you think of replacing an old asset is if the new one's going to save you money. Uh, so the cost savings of, of uh, replacing the old one is, let's see, it's... Uh, 20 versus 15, it's five thousand dollars per year, right? 5k per year times six years, so it's 30k that we save. But the uh, cost of replacing the, the the purchase cost of the new cab is also 30, and we go out of pocket 30 grand. And we save, though, uh, the salvage value. And the salvage value is 10 grand to our favor. So overall, 30 minus 30 plus 10 means we are $10,000 better off. That's the net advantage of purchasing the new cab. Now, in my mind, when I think about these things, I see it this way, and so I would allow my students to answer this question really in any way as long as they're getting the right dollar advantage or disadvantage. Your prof might like you to lay it out in a specific way. In my mind, when I look at these problems, I can visualize them better this way, so this is my preferred way, but again, the second way is totally legitimate way of solving this. All right, that's a keep or replace problem. We're going to move on to a new problem type in the next video.